This is what do what do guys call these things? This is called a brush guard. I ain't gonna show you the name because I don't know whether they want to uh, respond to me. And it was probably already in the video, but okay. <laughs> So AJ picked this up from a really nice country area. We didn't have any brackets to go with it. Yep, so no brackets to go with it. He's going to make his own brackets. And uh, the way it is, this truck wasn't really designed to have one beating on it. It was, but it's not without modification. So it is a two-wheel drive truck. So if you look up under here, Oh, oh, you want me on the ground. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. So if you look up under here, this whole valence is uh, all in the way of how it will mount. So I'm not going to remove the valence. Uh, I'm actually going to make it more like a four wheel drive. And that's, that's Logan, and that, that's Candy. Anyway. This is my side of the garage, and that is AJ's side of the garage. I noticed my sign that he got me. You don't have to drive a Ford, but if you, wait, but you'd be cooler if you did. <laughs> yeah, so true. He's so cool, you can't talk. <laughs> I'm thinking about all the chores I gotta get done. Let me know if you need my help. All right, so what I've done, I got this marked up to where I can cut it all out. I just freehanded it and drew it out. If you look under there, you see all the lines, the extra lines. You'll see it better when I cut it out. However, I said a while ago that I work on advertise. I will make a statement. Uh, I've went through the tool I'm fixing to use is, uh, I want to call it a cut a lot of them anyway. Uh, I've bought three different Dremels. I have four. I bought three different Dremels and every single Dremel tool I buy, they go out. They go bad. They just, as, as nice as they used to be, I don't get them so like, what I'm using today is not a Dremel. I bought two of the different off brand. I don't even know what the other brand was, and both of them still work today. Uh, nothing kills them, they keep on working. So, uh, as far as that goes, I wouldn't even recommend buying one of these if it was name brand, not unless it's better than a Dremel. Uh, let's see, I want to give you a little bit of a recording if I can. So, not that it really matters, but if you look up here, you can see you got uh, a lot of burn just from the Dremel cutting. I'm going to trim that off as you see it comes off fairly easy. Anyway, now i got access to that hole, and if you look, this hole and that hole, which is where I think I, you got it, uh, this hole and that hole, which is where it mounts to. I want to do the other side the same way, and then I'm going to fabricate the brackets.
Ah, uh, so I got the pieces cut out on the valence that you've seen. And uh, now I'm building the brackets. So I had to come to the shop and uh, basically this is just part of the uh, process since I don't have the brackets. As you see, cut or clean. Got a little bit of cleanup to do. Other than that, pretty much a straight edge. don't have a plasma, do it with a grinder. There's some more of the cut out. This piece is a little bit more critical. Uh, it's going up underneath the truck, and it's also the part that I got to uh, weld everything together with. So, you see, I already got the line drawn, and I'm gonna be a little bit more precise. Back to the grinder. To be home, passing by those little towns I know so well. Stopping for gas, and then I'm behind the wheel again. Driving this like a spiritual cleanse, where every mile is a new beginning. And every 
every friend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving That's the piece I'm going to put in the bottom of the truck that the mount is going to go on. Running through emotions high and low, holding on a The mount itself will be pretty much that. If I can hold it straight, we're going to come out and be able to go to the truck. So, got one more piece to go. Alright, so as you see here, I got them tacked together already, ready to weld them up. You got your uh, passenger and your drive side, and here we go. Your two brackets, one on either side, I get pretty much like this in the truck, and then the winch will go on. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun, side by side our fears are done. Alright, show you what I got going on here. You see, well, no, I got it for a moment. Uh, the hole here, and the hole here, which accesses the frame. Now this right here, I had to take off because we got to actually remove the bumper. So there's a couple little spots that it attaches to in here and we got to take, I already took that bolt off, we got this bolt to take off and then there's two more bolts on the other side and you got a fog lamp on this one particularly, a uh, fog lamp on each side unplugged so that way it will come off with the bumper. Other than that,
Other two bolts, it's gonna be that one and that one. That's basically just holding on uh, the upper valence. So anyway, we're gonna pull them off. Was neat to show that my broken leg. <laughs> my wife says I wouldn't be able to get anything done without her. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, you want it. Sure. Hey, you seen my rotary tool? Did you get the attachments for it? Oh, I need to get those. Uh, uh, you got a uh, 15 sixteenths and a one inch? Yeah. Thanks, babe. Yeah. That's too big. That's too big. Uh, what about a seven eighths and a three quarter? About a 13 16th, you got a 13 16th. Yeah. Uh, it's too small, too. It must be natural. You got a uh, 21 millimeter. Yeah. Thanks, baby. You got a 10 millimeter? <laughs> Could you come help me real quick? Yeah, I guess I can come. I'm going to replace the flag. I'm on my way, though. Uh, 
think. Hey, beautiful, I could use your help. Beautiful, you got your ears on? Yeah, are you talking about the radio? <laughs> yeah, I could use your help. I'm in the garage. I'm on my way. Thanks. This is what it looks like for now. We put this one in, and then we brought it up and put that one in. Throughout this whole video, you've heard me call this thing a winch the whole time. And uh, when really I meant a brush card, but they say speak it into existence, and it happened. Anyway, it is a brush card, and uh, my wife and I got the thing installed on the truck and everything and I'm gonna walk you through a couple of things I bought this thing at the beginning of the video you heard me say that it was hundred and twenty bucks while me and my wife was talking about it and uh, I specifically asked the guy if there was any thing wrong with it any damage or any problems that it had or anything and he's like other than paint and scuff it's all good well when we mounted it up the first time we noticed that it was real crooked uh, and it just it had a lean to it uh, so looking at it it seemed that it had a weld on it where it had broken before so I didn't show any of this and what I done but I took it and I cut it back off or cut it apart and I redone uh, that section of it and I put it back on there the way it was originally designed and supposed to be so if you look at it across the truck, it doesn't look crooked at all. So, but that's the brush car, so I'm gonna show you where it's at. So right here, and I also painted this thing up, so uh, right here is where it was cracked before and it had his weld. I have to put some pictures in the, uh, in here and, uh, just to show what he had there and what I had to take apart. But as you notice, you see right here, you got the two bolts that mount it right there. You come over here, you got, let me see if I can see this. You got a bolt here and you got a bolt here. And those are attached in here and in here. Uh, underneath, you see where it goes up underneath the truck and the cutouts that I made originally and that attaches to the frame if you can see it there and that's the same way on both sides but after painting it this is the final result and walk around And although there is no winch on it, and I called it a winch throughout the whole video, uh, my wife said there's a million plus, which wouldn't happen, but if there's a million plus views and follows or whatever else, and she'd get me one. So share, like, love, whatever. Thank y'all for watching. Also, if there's anything that I've missed that y'all would like to see and you want to see, uh, just let me know in comments and uh, I'll try to fulfill that. And if you got any questions, uh, uh, what it might have took that you didn't see or anything that you can think of, just let us know in the comments below and uh, I'll be glad to answer them uh, as soon as we can. Thank you.